Greetings, good people. All right, we're on episode two of House of Villains. And when I tell you I am so annoyed, I am so annoyed. Let me tell you what we're not going to do, all right? I love everything about this show so far, except for how they're going to be doing the eliminations. It is episode two. We should already have one of the housemates, or one of the villains, I should say, eliminated. So it seems that we are not going to find out who is going to be eliminated until episode three? All right, we're not going to drag this out, okay? We are not going to drag this out. Let's get this popping. Let's get rid of these weak links and let the villains do the villaining, <laughs> okay? So who is up for elimination, all right? We find out that uh, Jax, Shake, and what's the girl name? It's right here on my screen. Uh, Blondie. Corinne is up for um, elimination. Those three are up for elimination. So the way it works is Armorosa in episode one, Armorosa picked those three individuals to be eliminated, okay? So what ends up happening is the three people who are up for elimination, they have one final, uh, what is it? Assignment or, or uh, what's the word that I'm thinking of? Uh, they have one, they have a, something that they have to do a, a round. The word is escaping me. Anyway, you know what I mean? It'll probably come back to me. So they have to, their assignment is that they have to drive a go-kart blindfolded and they get to pick who it is that directs them. All right. So it's like around a little, uh, little maze or what have you. So it's a small little uh, golf cart. They're blindfolded. And who ends up winning is, uh, who won? Jax? No, Jax didn't win. Shake. Shake won, right? Yes, Shake won. So Jax is up for elimination and so is Corinne. All right, so at the end, we're sitting there. We're wondering, okay, I'm wondering who the heck is going to win this, okay? And then the damn episode goes off. So everybody in the house has to vote for either J uh, Jax or Corinne I think Jax was sabotaged by my man uh, Johnny Fairplay because for whatever reason he picked Johnny Fairplay to help guide him through the little obstacle course or what have you blindfolded and of course there he's a villain so Johnny Fairplay is going to the man lied about his grandmother dying when he was on Survivor I can't um, <laughs> so he sabotaged him so he he pretty much is up for elimination so shake was the one that won the challenge so he's safe all right so everybody is going to have to vote for either Jax or for corinne now here's the twist armorosa cannot vote she was the one who won the very first game she put the three corinne Jax, and shake up for elimination it's been narrowed down the final, you know, round or what have you. Shake one. So now it's Jackson Corinne. Following me? Great. Armorosa cannot vote. So I thought that was interesting. So everybody's going around the house trying to form these alliances. And my thing is, why do you trust anyone in the house? There's only going to be one winner. I could see if it was a team and people split up the money. But we saw the last time, uh, what's his name? Johnny Bananas tried to do all that. He didn't give his teammate money on a completely different show. Anyway. So I'm rooting for Corinne to go home, to be honest with you. Um, I just think that she's annoying um, and she complains too much. And she really thinks that she is like top tier villain. Like, girl, you were on like The Bachelor. What type of hard work did you have to do to be eliminated or to, to, to get a rose? You didn't have to do any backbreaking, strenuous work, any strategic thinking none of the above so she's the weakest link they might keep her around though but i'm not feeling waiting until episode three for the first elimination let's get this cracking okay um and if anything in episode three there should be two eliminations i don't know how they're gonna drag this out um this episode was kind of boring um, it, it was moving a little bit slow. I know it's going to get interesting as the episodes progress, but I do really like the setup of this show. And I like how they have, like, I just like how they have like the elimination rounds, how you get eliminated. I like seeing people trying to create these alliances, which makes no sense because again, it's only going to be one man standing. So it makes no sense to form any alliances. Um, 
shake he he feels that Jax should go home because he feels that Jax doesn't need the money they were having a conversation and he was kind of picking his brain and shake was trying to intimidate Jax and eh, it's pretty corny it doesn't matter if he has money or not he's there for a reason and he's he's gonna play to win so I'm hoping that Corinne gets eliminated I think I said that in my first review if you're not watching the show, they have the first two episodes for free on uh, YouTube. I think it's on E, e Network's YouTube page. But I, I DVR it and I, and I watch it. But for those who, you know, may not have E Network or what have you, you can watch the first two episodes at least for free. I don't know what they're going to do with the third episode, but I did see the second episode and the first one uh, when I was scrolling through YouTube. So if you like these type of like Survivor meets uh real world road rule rules challenge type of elimination shows and there you have it uh house of villains now i don't know what's going on with tiffany i don't know if she's just create if she's there just for like the drama but she was over she was over her roommate corinne and she pretty much told her like you know like she's annoying because everybody was getting drunk and of course bobby lights i like i said before i think bobby lights is there for comedic relief bobby lights was getting toast like he was drinking a lot and he decided to go up in tiffany and corinne's room in the middle of the night and cause chaos and fake cry and be dramatic and just you know try to get attention and the next morning new york was not having it um she didn't find it funny and she told she pretty much like kind of told off corinne but they're probably going to kiss and make up. I, I don't know. Corinne's annoying. She's, she's absolutely positively annoying. I'm still rooting for Johnny Bananas, as grimy as he has been in the past. I, I'm still rooting for my boy Johnny B. So no eliminations. I can't X anyone out on this cast photo. This is a really quick review. Not really much to discuss or talk about. Hopefully you guys are watching the show. If you are, drop down in the comments and let me know what you think hopefully there will be more to talk about in episode three coming up this week i can't wait to see it all right y'all that's all i got and i will talk to you later